Adobe InDesign server software shares the same core engine as the InDesign desktop application to let you programmatically create engaging, automated documents without losing access to the plugins and scripts you already use in InDesign. InDesign server can be used on Mac and Windows systems. This video will focus on the installation for Windows, and you can find resources on this page for Mac. So, let's get started. I'll go over how to set up a package, install it, and check the installation. I'll also go over how you can deactivate a device license or add a license on a device that already has InDesign Server installed. Go to the Admin Console, then to Packages, then to Create a Package. This will bring up a window to choose the package you want to set up. You might see a pop-up window that will give you the option to build a named user license or feature restricted licensing package. One note. If you have installed InDesign Server in the past, serial-based licensing is no longer available. So we choose Feature Restricted License and go to Next. There will be an option to create an online package, which is great for our users. Once we click Next, it'll ask us which version we want to install. Here, we can choose Windows, the locale, and then click on Next. We have the license file already added on the right. This is the FRL license, which means that whoever installs this package won't need to sign in with their email since the license is device-based. The next thing we need to do is add the InDesign server. Okay, now that that's done, we have the option to add some optional components, but they aren't necessary. Now we go to the next screen. It asks us whether there are any plugins that I want to keep. But in FRL, there are no compatible plugins for InDesign server we can load at this stage. So we will just click on Next. This brings us a few options to select from. The device identification options, license activation options, and management options. I'm going to leave things as is. I want to point out that you should pick the activation that works best for your users and take note of any special information listed below, like the URLs or IPs you should whitelist. Once we click Next, we are brought to a page where we can name the package and then create it. All right, let's look at the next steps of installing the package we just created. You'll remember that we set up a Windows package, so let me show you what the installation process looks like in that operating system. Just a couple of things before we start. We will be using File Explorer to locate our installation package and use the Windows application command prompt to check the installation. We have downloaded the package, and if we navigate under the Build folder, we can find the setup.exe file. All we need to do is right-click on it and bring up the option to run as administrator. And in a bit, the installation will notify us it's complete and we can click OK. Now, how do we know this installation is working? We will need to know the file path of where the Adobe InDesign server is installed. You can see I click on the path here in File Explorer and copy it to my clipboard. Now all we need to do is go to Command Prompt, right-click on it, and select Run as Administrator. We type CD, then paste the file path we just copied. OK, we are now pointed to the InDesign server location. Let's check if the application is properly licensed and working. To do that, we type out InDesignServer.com, add a dash, followed by port, then I will add a space and type out the numbers 1234. With all that written out, we are good to hit enter. All right, things are processing and it looks good. And we know they're good because down here we see that there is a servicing SOAP request on port 1234. If we wanted to test it further, we could go to a browser and type in the address bar localhost colon 1234 backslash service question mark WSDL. Now we need to check if our device is working. We have a toolkit you can download from the Adobe Admin Console. Once it's downloaded, we just need to copy the path name and then head over to Command Prompt. Remember, Command Prompt needs to be run as an administrator, like we did when we were checking the installation file. OK, with Command Prompt open, I will type out CD and then paste the toolkit file path we just copied. Now we just need to point it to our toolkit. I can do this easily by typing A and then hitting the Tab key. Perfect! The next thing we will type is a dash and then the letter L. And we see here that the FRL license we installed is online. Now, what if you want to deactivate a device? 
All you need to do is add the path to the toolkit, just like we did when we wanted to check if our device was working, and then add two dashes followed by the word deactivate and hit enter. And here we can see that it was successful. If you wanted to really double check if the license was deactivated, you could follow the same steps as we did when we checked the installation and we wouldn't get any of the licensing details we did previously. Now, what if you already have a device with Adobe InDesign Server but need a license? All you need to do is follow the steps we went over in the setup section of our video. But this time, instead of adding InDesign Server to the right column, we'll just leave it as is, so the only license file would be part of our package. We have our package downloaded and you'll notice we have a few files in here, including a JSON file. Let's copy the path name and then head over to Command Prompt, which is in Administrator Mode. Here, we will type CD and paste the path name we just copied. Perfect! We are pointed to the right direction. Now, we just need the next command to run the toolkit and JSON file. This command is pretty long, so to keep things simple, I will make this information accessible on this page. All you need to do is go here and click on How do I deploy a license only package? Then go to the command I have highlighted. The first part of the command points to the toolkit, and then the last part points to the JSON file. We can just copy this and then go to Command Prompt and paste it. Once we hit Enter, we get the feedback that the operation was successfully completed. And if we want to see a readout of the applications we have access to, all we need to do is type adobe-licensing-toolkit.exe-l and then hit Enter. Fantastic work! If you have any other questions or need guidance on Mac installation, please check out the resources on this page.